Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonner here, Overtime Athletes. Um, recently, I've been working with the college ball players and they're going back to school. They're going back to actually go to in season, school starting up. Um, I thought it was an important conversation that I had with them about in season training. And I was actually pretty shocked how some of these guys play college ball and the emphasis on in season training uh, is not as high. And I kind of wanted to talk to them, or I talked to them about it. And I figured I'd share it with you guys because I feel like this is pretty important. As you know, you know, the higher you get or the more elite that you get, you know, Division One pros, they're training in season. They're doing weight training in season. It seems to me that the lower that you get, you know, your NAIAs, your Division Twos, your Division Threes, your high schools. Now, this is depending on the program. But I was pretty shocked to hear that it's just kind of left out the window or it's not focused on throughout the season. And what I tried, how I tried to break it down to them is that uh, when they come to me in the off season, let's say that their performance is at a certain level. So let's say this is the off season. You know, you come to me in the beginning of the summer. This is, you know, this is your off season. You come to me at this level of performance, right? We train for three months, let's say, and I get your level of performance up here, right? And this is where right before you're going back to school or right before you start training. So you increase your performance every off season and you essentially allow yourself to get to a certain stage where your body's peaking, you're at your highest athletic ability and you're, you're essentially getting ready for a season. After you peak, right, if you do not train, you're essentially allowing your body to lose that strength. I mean, because everybody knows, right? If you don't train during in season, you, you know that you're, you're, uh, you're losing that strength. For, it depends on your genetics, but a lot of guys, especially me for myself, when I didn't train in the in season, I would lose it all. So if you think about, you know, a football season is, you know, say 10 weeks on average, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. Throughout those 10 weeks, you're losing that strength. Right? Your strength is going down. Not only are you losing that strength, but think about how you performed when you came in peaking in the in season in your weeks one, two, three. Your athletic ability was much higher. Your performance was much higher than if you are in week seven, eight. Now that your skill set is a lot better, you don't have the strength to go with it. Not only that, you increase the, uh, you increase the, the, uh, uh, your um, chances of getting injured. So. What I like to do and what I like to teach my athletes, and I kind of just want to draw this out to them, is look, every, and now you start back here in the, same, in the off season again, and then you try to climb up every off season. So I said, instead of trying to climb up every off season, let's think of it as a ladder, and each year you're trying to basically uh, maintain, or even some of my guys that I actually have control of, they actually get a little bit stronger through the end season. So they're here when they start the off season, and then they can build on that and go higher each off season and get better. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, there's a certain way that you need to manage this because there is a lot of, you know, your body gets taxed through the season. It's tough. The last thing you want to think of is the weights when you're doing, you know, you're, you're in the grind, you have school going on, all these other things happening. Um, and I understand that. But if you truly want to treat this and you truly want to, uh, uh, you truly want to treat this like an elite athlete and you really want to be an elite athlete, elite athlete you need to be training the in season. I just want to break that down for you guys right now. Quick rules of thumb. You need to be training two to three days a week. You don't need to be training more because like I said, your body is receiving a stimulus from the actual practice, right? That's not enough on the weights, but it is enough to be able to get your power and your explosiveness done and, and essentially go through the skill sets that you need to perform in the in season. So two to three days per week, so we're managing that stress levels that your body is being applied. After that, compound total body movement. So each day, you're going you're gonna to basically train your entire body, and each day, you're going to perform compound movements. Compound movements across multiple joint angles. These are your bench, your squat, your deadlift, your hang cleans, depending on the sport you play. It's essentially, you know, those are the main focus that we're doing, and we're touching the weight. Uh, t touching the heavier weight, but we're not performing a lot of volume. 
So that's the next one, very low volume. You just wanna be able to build up to that strength, make sure you maintain it, make sure your nervous system feels that resistance to overcome and shut it off. So that's basically so we don't, uh, don't overcompensate or we don't tax the nervous system, if you will, too hard. After that, uh, the things that I focus on within that total body is mobilization, activation, and strength. Now let me break these down. Like I said, to reduce the amount of injury, a lot of things that you're doing when you're practicing, you're not realizing you want to be able to create stability in your body and really focus on mobility and activation in the beginning of your workouts and then basically strength, like I just said. So a lot, I don't add a lot of volume, I don't add a lot of auxiliaries, I don't do a lot of bodybuilding. Most of the time what I'm doing is I'm getting the guys in here for corrective stretches, I get them foam rolling out, I do a little bit of stability with them so they can maintain that strength throughout the in season. And then I do uh, actual compound strength movements to make sure that they're maintaining the weights that they did or they built up to in the off season and that's it. So I hope that helps. Basic overview of in season training and why you need to be performing uh, or training on the weights in the in season. And I uh, hope that helps. I'll have you guys next time. Hey, thanks so much for watching the video. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, go ahead and click this box right over here today. I'll get you signed up for a free athletic course that's gonna teach you how to become a better athlete, whether it be speed, explosiveness, strength, or just pure aesthetics. Go ahead and click that. I'm gonna send it to you and get you started immediately.